I need to work on not being too close to the microphone because I have this fear that is stoked by the fact that I've had negative experience in the past, but I have this fear that if I'm not close enough to the microphone, if I'm not practically, if my lips aren't pressed up against the microphone, <laughs> then it's not going to pick up the sound. But, you know, if we keep in mind the settings I currently have, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> Things are going to be fine. And me being too close to the microphone makes it that uh, <sighs> the resulting sound quality is not the best. In any case, what is in the sky, everyone? My name is Lasmon, and this is Vox Populi, Vox Day. I just recorded a short video and was in the mood to record another one. And I re remember this being a short enough game to record. It's a platformer. Uh, this will only be a uh, one video. It's, uh, it says here werewolf thriller. I guess that can be classified as a thriller. It's more really of just kind of a... Like a puzzle type platformer game. There is action in it, but it needs to be very much uh, strategic. So the, the story here is that... Uh, Worlds apparently kidnapped that pink creature, and we, the blue creature, uh, heard about it from the green creature, and are now uh, trying to go and help the pink creature. <laughs> we can jump, we can do things that bend the laws of physics, we can jump like that, and, I mean, of course, they, they tell you the controls, space to jump, but I already know all of that. I've played through the game. Uh, let's hide the mouse. Alright, so... Press down, space, and this is how we beat up werewolves. And now we just have to be here and keep pressing space to beat them up until we've finished beating them up. Yeah, that's how it works. That is how this game works. And now we jump. And jump some more. I, I, I do want to say that this is a fun game. Its atmosphere is pretty good, and the way it's made, it's not long enough to start dragging. It, it's not innovative in any way, but it's it hits that sweet spot where it's fun, has a unique feel to it, it has a charm, especially with its puzzle-like things that we'll see later in the game. And it's not long enough for people to think, oh, this game is pretending to be something more. It's not pretending to be anything. It's only... And for the thing, for what it is, it's a great game. That's that's the thing. But if the werewolves see us, they open up their stomach and start shooting balls at us. Yeah, great. <laughs> this game makes a lot of sense. Let's see if we really spam the space bar button. Uh, if it can be any faster, maybe I don't know. Also, with control, we can become invisible. But right now, we don't need this because this werewolf is deaf. And the fun thing we can do here is. Uh, Obviously jump the werewolf, but now we fall all the way, and uh, it's a nice transition, it's very satisfying. Now if we can go down here, but that's only that's only really world building, we don't need to go down there, because nothing is there. And now we get into a building, and this is where they first teach us the control trick. Uh, so that way, you know, oh, okay, so what I did here, by the way, and now, oh, yeah, I can also hold down space, and that's probably the better thing to do. But yeah, uh, so, you know, without the invisibility, the wolf that was uh, facing me would see me and start shooting. But I became invisible, and now, I did this kind of, uh, because I'm used to it, but I jumped and got both wolves at once. It's possible uh, that, like, if you're precise pixel-wise, you'll get both of them at once. The unfortunate side effect of that is that there is now a wolf permanently stuck to our body. And it's going to be there forever, basically. Actually, if we die, is it going to be there? Uh, I'm not going to try to die in this one, because I don't want to have to redo that part. I already did it so perfectly, getting both of them at once. And here as well, see? <laughs> That's the fun part of it, because if, you're do if you don't do all of them at once, then what you have to count on is... Uh, you have to count on falling so that the other wolf doesn't see you. Because once you hit the wolves... Ah, see, I got two of them. But now I think I'm gonna die, because that wolf is gonna see me, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, this is dangerous. We need to hide. 
There. Ooh, that was so close. <laughs> Handle that like a pro because you know, we don't need want to be slow. But uh, we can finish him off now. And see, the invisibility just wears off once we actually hit a wolf, which makes sense. We we didn't have to kill him. We could have just advanced. Uh, can't advance here. We have to go down here. So if we die, and at this point we can just go and uh, die, and see if the wolves disappear. Something tells me they won't. Yeah, no, they're still there. So that's an unfortunate side effect of you exploiting this little pixel bug. Now notice uh, notice about this. The invisibility wears off when you enter a portal, so it's important that when you enter and there's a wolf at that floor, the wolf is looking the other direction. And then also, once you hit the wolf, you don't teleport to the next one, because the next one is going to kill you while you're beating up the previous one. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's not exactly the way I envisioned it, but I guess it worked. I can't get over the fact that I'm just d carrying wolves on my body. And they're, and they're shaking, they're obviously alive, and I'm doing this to them. <laughs> ah, it's so unsettling. So, this is a puzzle, as in... The matching images hint at what floor we're going to appear on. So we see, we know when to do, when to actually appear on it, and when the wolf is going to be... Like, which wolf we have to make sure is looking the other way. So, this next one corresponds to this one. Yeah, so from that point on, it's just, uh, we go to this floor, and then down, uh, and I mean, not down, up from there. So then the next one, then, obviously it makes sense that the one we're finishing is gonna be the one with the exit. Uh, so, look the other way, thank you. It's a fun game, and it also has a sequel that is on Steam, for like $5 or something, or less than that, but... I've s I haven't played it. I've pl I think I might have played a demo version of it on Congregate at some point. But I've read the Steam reviews and they were like, "Ooh, this game isn't like the original. Doesn't have the same charm uh, and the same uh, doesn't have similar enough mechanics." And because of that, it's kind of a uh, leaves an unfortunate taste in people's mouths. Maybe one day we'll get to check it. Ooh, this is a weird one. I don't exactly remember how to beat this, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe one day we'll play it, but I don't know if it's worth it if the people are right when they say that uh, It's not that great, but of course it not being like the first game doesn't make it not great automatically We know that from the Epic War series because Epic War 3 and 4 are no worse than 2 and You know, two. there's a lot of areas in which Epic War 2 beats Epic War 3 and 4 But there's also, you know, gameplay wise 3 and 4 are what I prefer and now we... Let's see. So the thing is, when we, if we are invisible, let's try to just drop down here when invisible. We, we can't make this fall and remain invisible. What we can do is uh, drop down like this while invisible. And after that, once we're on the ground, we can of course kill this wolf. The problem is... Oh. The problem is the other one's gonna shoot at us after that. So that's not the way to go either. We can drop down until we don't die from the jump, then jump, and then kill this one. But now this wolf is shooting at us. So again, not the way to go. So it's gonna take a bit to remember how we do this. Can we just jump on this wolf? No. I, I, I thought that, I hope that maybe just someone jumping on you from such heights is gonna kill you, but apparently not. We can make this jump though, and I think that's probably what we need. Oh, but how do we how do we get there? Also, first plane, background animation. <laughs> nice, uh, because Flash games, basically Flash likes revealing more content if you're, uh, depending on your screen resolution. Obviously the developers didn't intend for this to be there, but it is. So can we, no, we can't. We can't sneak through. Ouch. So what else can we do, though? Uh, 
I mean, sure, we don't have to face this wall, but the one on the left is problematic. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's a puzzle, and it's not trivial. Obviously, there's uh, some conflict here. But at the same time, there's just not enough options for it to truly be challenging. Like, eventually, we're gonna find a solution, and it's gonna be, like, one of the only solutions we can find. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna s spam spacebar. That didn't work. Well, so what do we do? Again. There, oh, there we go. So, apparently, the way that you kill, the way that you... What? That went through walls. Okay, but at least we spawned here. The way you kill that werewolf is you jump, but you jump from the down arrow. So that's how you kill someone in midair. Apparently, that's how it works. This one just has a lot of annoying screen glitches, and what you have to do is time things correctly. It is as trivial as that. And I like the fact that we have something as trivial in a platformer game that often, you know, it often has puzzles that require us to kind of think of what to do. But in this case, it's literally just timing. And, you know, dealing with the fact that the screen flashes this much. Ah, see, there's a beast now that destroyed the wolves and is now <laughs> running <laughs> all over here in place. See, the immersion gets kind of ruined when you get these things revealed to you. <laughs> Obviously, it was supposed to be a pretty good cutscene, but um, yeah, the, the beast escaped the cage and is now <laughs> running in place in the purple background. And from the knowledge that we learned... Ah, oh, okay, we didn't even have to follow that knowledge, but we just jumped down, killed the werewolf, and this is the pink creature. I'm gonna refer to her as the pink creature, and I'm the blue creature, because how else? This is, I remember this also being pretty challenging. We can leave her, and she's gonna not know where we are, so, and we, but we need to get her out of here, that's the thing, so we can do, no, not, can't, can't quite do that. We can do... Wait, is that really all it took? Huh? I remember this being kind of challenging, but I'm like, hmm, let's try to jump here. Jump normally. And I did, it worked. I, but I didn't expect her to jump with me. I thought she was going to be left there, and we had to figure out how to get her. But no, it's this simple. I guess when we jump like this, like uh, while holding down the down arrow, that is when she loses us. But when we just jump normally, she generally follows us pretty well. So this one, basically we need to, uh, oh, we need to leave her here, there, we need to leave her here, and then pull her like up like this. And now, for us to be able to get up there, we need to pull this one up too, and then make our horizontal jumps. I don't, I didn't exactly remember how to do this, but I just, you know, on the spot, it wasn't hard to figure out. Hey, you're coming with me, right? Hey, hello. <laughs> she was just staying there. And if she, if she didn't see me for even longer, we'd have to repeat the whole process, which I would not want. So there's a werewolf on this one. I don't exactly, I, yeah, I think we're going to have to kill him eventually. So how do we do this? Do we, can we make this jump? No. Can we make this jump? No. Can we make this jump? Nope. How about this jump? We can make this jump. Uh, but she's staying behind, so now we have to go and kill this werewolf. And the ceiling kind of helped there, otherwise we would fall all the way down. Although, I guess that wouldn't be a problem necessarily, we'd just have to get up there again. And now, we do this. Oops, wait, no. We do this. Which, thankfully, I left her there. If I left her at any other, uh, at a place uh, that wasn't on that platform, we'd have to do it all over again. And, you know, I wouldn't like to do that all over again. So that's nice that she was exactly where we needed her to be. And now, we can pick her up. There we go. 
this puzzle is solved. And I think at this point, basically all the puzzles are solved. Wait, there was a place here where we couldn't couldn't quite go. Whatever. <laughs> now we're ascending in the elevator. And this scene is a bit long, but it's nice because it's a cutscene, you know, things are gonna happen. Uh, although the, the dangling werewolves kind of take a bit of the immersion out, as well as these things. <laughs> but it's not, these things aren't... I don't blame the developers, it's just Flash being Flash. These ones, kind of the developers, but then again, I could have played to avoid it. I could have just hit one werewolf at a time and still beaten those parts so it's kind of the developers fault for having this be a thing but also kind of my fault now notice she escaped through a portal but there is now that beast who was running in place chasing after us and worlds are shooting at us and you know he decided that uh, running after us to hit us was a good idea and uh, now we are in the water with these dangling worlds still alive for some reason. Uh, the game kind of leaves it in suspense, as in... It's not confirmed that we are dead, but obviously we're at least unconscious and uh, not in a very good state. And so... The pink creature... just spawns here, teleports here, and starts crying. But since it says to be continued, uh, we think, well, maybe he's not, he's, he's not completely dead, but... Who knows? It's such a weird game, it's like, it doesn't explain who these people are, it explains kind of just enough to be able to play it, and the charm of it, uh, in addition to the pixelated graphics and blood, which, you know, personally not that much, like, it's not something I look for in games, but uh, uh, it doesn't make me not able to enjoy this game. And I enjoy it for its puzzle elements, and figuring out what to do on each quote-unquote level, which is, you know, not a level because it's kind of smooth, you go to the right and you transition to the next screen. It's a scrolling system that instead of it just following you around all the time, it, it follows, it's like, the game world is split into a grid, a grid of rectang rectangles of this size, and whatever rectangle you're currently in, it shows, so it thanks us for playing, and there, the first plane here is, for some reason, <laughs> flashing. But, as the game thanks us for playing, it is time for me to thank you for watching. If you have any similar games or completely different Flash games that, and even other games that you want to suggest, feel free to do so in the Discord server in the description. Uh, that's, that's the better way to do it, I think, but you can also do it in the comments, and at least at this point... I am still going to be able to see it and take note of it, because at this point I definitely don't miss any comments, but uh, better be safe, you know. I, I certainly don't miss any Discord messages. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Good bye.